Oh, it is. Uh, what the? <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the Boyo Show. Please get down. Why does he act like he's like the king? The way he stated and everything. <laughs> We are talking about saving sex for marriage and the boundaries that we had up until that point. I don't know where we're gonna start, but maybe boundaries, right? Yeah, so so when it comes to boundaries, I would say we didn't have a lot of um, help with this topic. Like we didn't have like a mentor or like a couple that really led us in this. So like we kind of just like winged it on our own. So I know there's so many other very um, stricter boundaries out there that people have set. Um, in their relationships and that's amazing but yeah like I said this is what we had done for ourselves and um, saving ourselves for marriage because the number one goal for us was that we did not want to have sex with each other until marriage so so when it comes to boundaries I really don't remember us like sitting down and talking about like I don't think we knew like that was like important yeah so like we didn't so to speak, set boundaries. Like I literally think we we were just like don't have sex. Yeah. And so like, yeah, we just basically tried really hard not to. So yeah, it was kind of weird. I didn't think about that because like I I'm sure boundaries were taught, but like not while we were dating at the time. So like if boundaries were taught, I wasn't really worried about that because I wasn't in a relationship. So we just kind of like winged it and we just knew. Um, <laughs> there you go. You're welcome. Uh, I would say like the boundaries that were set though were probably from my mom because <laughs> we were like at my parents house most of the time and so like for instance like we could not watch something in my room like the room was like basically off limits at all time like I, we were never allowed to be in my bedroom yeah. and I think that's pretty normal um, and I also would agree with that one because you do not need to be like in the bedroom with your significant other, door closed, like watching a movie. Like, I feel like that is just like the weirdest thing. I think it also too, it depends on the people. Like it depends what your struggles are and stuff like that um, and how intense they are too. Because like, even if it's not going to a bedroom, but you guys are in the basement on yeah. the couch by yourself. Like it's that, the same thing. yeah, like that is also very tempting intimate. too. Yeah, it's a bit, it's, so it's like, if you know for sure that you are struggle with that big time and it's hard to resist that, then you do have to set boundaries like, hey, we can't hang out, you know, one on one by ourselves. Like there has to be a friend, like some friends there. There has to be, you know, I wouldn't say a parent because I feel like we're all older than that by now. Yeah. But like just set those healthy boundaries. And if you guys ever did hang out by yourself, maybe like at a movie theater or bowling alley and stuff like that, setting those types of boundaries. Um, and it becomes easier to set boundaries and, and say like, hey, let's not have sex before marriage when you know why you're not having sex before marriage. Like if you're just like, oh, it's my morals and that's it, then it's going to be easier because you're like, well, what does that even matter? But for us, we knew that if we obeyed, like first off, the Lord told us not to do that. And so we want to obey our Heavenly Father. And then we knew like if we obey this, our marriage is going to be blessed. Our sex life will be blessed. We will see the favor of of God on our life as we obey him and we knew that so it was easier for us I mean not saying it was easy all the time but it was easier for us to stick to that knowing that hey we have you know God's word behind this uh, we know that there's gonna be a blessing with this and that his favor will be with us during this and obviously he provides grace during all of that and so because of that yeah our life is really blessed well I would I would say like that wrapped up the reason why like it was easier for us not to is because we did have a why so I think that's really good because like a lot of people a lot of couples or a lot of girls will ask me like you know like but why like what's the reason for like it would make sense to know that, that you have that chemistry with someone blah, blah 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 so like it doesn't make sense why we would need to save it type of thing but yeah like like Tony just listed those were all of our whys and what we kept in our mind at all times um two I think something that would be important is to make sure both of you guys are on the same page with those whys and also like agree with them. Um, Cause Tony was like, I would say really like set on those and he reminded me of them, but also he was like a virgin and I was not <laughs> like newly not. And so for me, like, I feel like that sin had already like kind of 
entered into my heart and like I that was now a new struggle for me to not um have sex after like I had been and so like that was like a constant struggle for me to um to not cross those boundaries so I remembered um he would have to kind of like get my mind centered again because I'd be like it literally doesn't matter like it doesn't matter um like in the heat of the moment but then obviously like it did and like I'm so glad we waited but it was definitely a constant struggle for me because I had already crossed that line and that's why you know I said depend it depends on the person and like what their struggles are because I didn't have sex I didn't know what I was missing so it was easier for me because I've never done it before so not only were we looking forward to the blessing of listening to to the Lord, but something else that we didn't want to do was open the door for the enemy. And we knew if we were to open that door, that would just allow so many other things. And we know a lot of relationships and people that opening up that door caused a lot of problems, maybe even breakups, because what it does is it causes insecurities, it causes fights, and I mean, comparison. comparison, yeah, just like all of this stuff opens the door. And I know there's this phrase out there that people don't like to hear. Uh, but it's true. It says, "Why you know purchase the cow if you can get the milk for free?" You like love that. But saying. it's so true. I mean, it is true. And if you don't know what we're referring to, like, why would a man put a ring on it if you're already giving him what whatever it is he wants? If you guys are already living that life of marriage, and you're wanting to get married, what's causing him to want to pursue that? Yeah, you know? and it like, shouldn't be that way, but it is. This is like so hard because like i'm in women's ministry like young and old women's ministry just through like social media and like sisterhood and stuff and i feel like people ask that all the time like i don't know why we're not getting serious or i don't know why he hasn't proposed yet because they've been together for like five plus years and that is always i always ask are you guys living together are you guys sleeping together like that is always a hundred percent the reason why um because that's like the same thing tony said like why get the cow if you can get the milk for free and so there's really no urgency and not that like marriage is urged by sex but god did create sex to be married or for marriage and so um i don't know i definitely i feel sad saying that because i have a lot of friends like it's like a normal thing like it's not even like you're not a bad person like it's just like some of the things just like it just happens like i just hate that situation it, it, it like, needs to be said and let's be real like Having sex before marriage, you know, uh, doing sexual acts in general before marriage outside of a covenant is a sin. And when you do open the door to sin and you sin, I mean, it draws a wedge between you and God. And it, you know, distances you from God. And then if you're wondering, you know, like, why am I not as happy as I feel like I should be? Or why do I feel like bad things are happening and there's not as much joy and all that stuff? Because... You're carrying guilt on you that you shouldn't have to be carrying. When you open up the door to sin, it opens up so many other doors. And it's not just a relationship. It goes beyond that. And so and so we didn't want to open up that door to sin and let the enemy come in. And we didn't want to distance ourselves. The guy, especially in a relationship, we wanted our relationship to be focused on Christ and centered on Christ. And so that was our main priority. And so having that, realizing that, you know, there's consequences to what we do. But there's also reward and blessings for, you know, what we obey and stuff like that. And so it just helps, like we talked about having that why. Why are you laughing? Because I think this is funny because I just like to be honest with you guys. Because I feel like he's like the saint and I'm like the messy one. But I just think it's funny because I, I would literally, I would like try. Like I'd be like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not a big deal. And like he would like kind of almost think about it. And then he'd be like, we're going to be so blessed when we're married because we didn't do it. And like, he would literally say that I'd get like, an, I would get like annoyed. I'm such it a would be person. more towards... Like, it's more like a joke, I feel. Yeah, but it was also in the beginning where it was like, she just got over this stage of like her party life and stuff. And keep in mind, our story is so messed up. I was literally like with someone like two weeks before Tony and I started dating. Yeah. So like, that's how bad it was. It was more towards the beginning. And the Lord just reminded me of... Who she really was. And so I just kept that. You have always been called eyes. to be. Who some you've may been say. called to be, yes. And yeah. So, yeah. And he brought out that. Who I've been called to be. The Lord brought out that. Thank you. The Lord used you as a vessel. What I was going to say is God loves seeing obedience because obedience also shows that we have faith in Him, that He will 
um, provide for us and showing that that gets him excited to yeah. bless us and um, life on earth is obviously not heaven like heaven is gonna be amazing it's gonna be great but he also didn't say life on earth is gonna suck you know so people feel like you know they have to live like in a place where, where they're struggling and they're always feeling defeated and you know things aren't happening the way they wanted it to and they just are like well that's just how it is blah 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 but like God called us to live as victors on earth and I take the word very seriously and so we honored him with our sex we honored him with our money we still do and we give and we do whatever we can because we want to obey and show our faith in god yeah. and i feel that's why we've been able to have such a blessed marriage and um setting those boundaries um creating <clears throat> those little unsaid rules for us we should have said them but we were na naive we yeah. didn't but for you guys you can and so I hope that this really did help you guys um, answer some questions and some other random stuff that I feel like could still be beneficial. So if you guys like this video, it really, really helps us out to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. We're really working to build our subscriptions. And if you leave a comment below, that really helps our algorithm. So if you have any other video topics or something that stood out to you or something that you're like, I don't know how I feel about that, whatever it is, leave a comment below. it will make sure to get back to you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see See you all in our next one. Deuces. Hi.